Next no. we'll move on to tw two. No, we're still at oh. 11. Yeah, 11, the breakup ah. of Diesel mm -hmm. and Shawn Michaels. As alluded to earlier, former tag team partners, but Shawn's questionable aim with his sweet chin music high kick, which <laughs> kept accidentally hitting Diesel in the face with it. I remember seeing some of the, a bunch of those matches on TV. It was pretty funny. Oh, uh, I feel bad. I could have sworn there was a vignette of it. Dang. Like a montage of accidental super kicks. Of, yeah, the, where they were like talking about why they were breaking up. And <laughs> it just showed Shawn Michaels super kicking um, Diesel in the face like three times. And I'll be honest, if I got super kicked by one of my friends once, like that's all it would take for me to be... <laughs> Seriously pissed off at them. Yeah, you know when you think about it, Diesel's an incredibly forgiving man. One super kick I can put up with. Two, it's okay. Stuff happens twice. He, he was astonishingly, astonishingly <laughs> tolerant when you think about it. I know. <sighs> So there's that weird jacket and the glasses again. I, yeah, I just can't explain that one. And... Oh, Big Daddy Cool is from Detroit, supposedly. Now his his now his, now his like whole thing was like he was like a trucker, right? Yeah. Like like his like his finishing moves the jet was the jackknife. Yep. Okay. Played by Kevin, played by Kevin Nash. Yes, who, Kevin Nash. Together with Scott Hall, would be one of the founders of the NWO and NCW, WCW. Diesel was Diesel, very big guy, six eleven. Yep. Oh, looking up his statue. Oh, apparently he actually he actually is from Detroit. Oh, nice. Yeah, not. Not to badmouth anybody's hometown, but there's not a whole lot of good stuff that comes out of Detroit anymore. No. Let's see. We've, we've lost the Detroit demographic now. I hope you realize that. <laughs> the, 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 Fuck the, you. We have Eminem. <laughs> they're, 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 hit, they're hitting the little X at the top of their browsers right now. I, well, I just like... Like, I, I remember hearing somebody say that, like, RoboCop is really not that popular in Detroit. Because it, it, it's too close to home. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of prescient like for a movie back in the 80s to, you know, say, in the future, Detroit will be a post a semi-post-apocalyptic wasteland that only, an, only a superhuman cyborg can restore order to. <laughs> it, Detroit gets so shitty that, like, nothing bad happens. It's just... <laughs> It just gets so progressively shitty that... Yeah, it wasn't like there's any apocalypse, it's just, you know, this is just the natural progression of Detroit, apparently. Oh my god, I thought I was playing HBK, and I'm actually playing Big Daddy Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot who I was supposed to be in this match. Now, Kevin Nash, he's, uh, he's, he's 54, he's still with us. Yes, he's actually... Uh, occasionally involved in storylines oh, and cool. if I remember right I think he might have been in the 2014 Royal Rumble no, I'm pretty sure he was in the 2013 Royal Rumble let's see if I can nope I cannot do an outside dive oh he was in TNA for a while I hadn't realized it. yes but I think just as Kevin Nash yeah. um I think the last storyline mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Nash was in was in 2000, I, I want to say 2011, 2012, where he helped uh, Triple H screw CM Punk out of the championship title. Hey, wasn't he in The Punisher? I think so. Yeah, he was the Russian, I think. Yeah. I don't think he had any dialogue in the movie, but... Well... Wrestlers rarely have dialogue in the movie. You know, Steve Austin is in The Expendables. Really? Yes. You, would, I saw The Expendables and I was like, holy crap, Stone Cold Steve Austin is in there? Okay, I'm just looking yeah. some stuff up at him. In 19... You know Image Comics, right? 
yeah. spawn wild cats. Okay. Yeah. In 1999, they published a the a comic book uh, a comic book entitled Nash, written by Kevin Nash, set Good. Where, starring himself in a dystopian future. Whether it was specifically a dystopian future in Detroit, I don't know. <laughs> so Kevin Nash is Robocop. <laughs> I, I would watch that, actually. So, yeah, so Kevin Nash has his own comic book. Ultimate Warrior has his own comic book. Stars in his own comic book. Mick Foley's not in his comic book, but I know that he... Uh, oh, God. I know that he writes one. God damn oh! It. He was in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. He was Super Shredder. Oh my god, yes! Which I had no idea, because, I mean, he's under, he, you know, he's wearing a big metal mask and everything. But apparently he was Super Shredder. I, how did I forget about that? Probably because I'm too busy getting beaten the fuck up by Shawn Michaels. <laughs> All the blows to God your head have driven He's the knowledge about to out. Speech and me. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Shit. Yeah, he is. Oh. Now I just imagine. Now I just imagine Diesel going. Now I shall finish what I began with your ear. Fuck damn it. No. No. Time paradox. <laughs> Diesel, Diesel, Diesel. Uh. Well, let's give it another try. I will not pretend to be an expert at this game. And I believe I've said it before. I'm playing on a hard. I actually recently saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2: Secret of the Ooze again. First time, long time. First, mm. first Ninja Turtles movie actually holds up. Second really doesn't. And and the third was always third was always garbage, even when I was a kid. I remember seeing the second one at some sort of summer camp, and I was just severely confused because I I'd, I'd grown up with the semi-modern um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles interpretation. Which one? Um. I couldn't tell you which one. Like that ninety like was like a cartoon or Yeah, it was a cartoon. Was it was it the Ninja Turtles cartoon where there was a fifth nin there was a lady ninja turtle who had mammary no. glands? No. As turtles do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not that. Okay, I think I know the one you mean then. I mostly knew uh, it from It was like nineties kinda grungy. Yeah, yeah, that, okay. I mostly know it from the horrible, horrible eighties cartoon. Which had just jaw, like even a jaw dro droppingly bad continuity, among other things. I mean, like from scene to scene, like characters would just like change headbands, change weapons, change voices. <laughs> it was just like they had no idea who was where at any given point. They didn't give a damn. They just didn't care. It had Cam Clark as Leonardo. I'm actually curious. What's your um, hope with uh, the? Oh sweet! I just stole his finisher. Uh, with the um, new, new Ninja Turtles movie? Yeah, the new Ninja Turtles headed by Michael Bay. With uh, I don't know. I don't really have any Fox. particular expectations. Or... I yeah. I mean, I don't blame you. I, I mean, I'm not a, a huge uh, believer in any project with Megan Fox attached to it. Oh, is she in it too? Yeah, she's April O'Neil. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know she was still a thing. I don't know. I assume she wouldn't be. Because uh, she's a horrible actress. I couldn't say. I don't think I've ever seen any of her films. You've not seen her in Transformers. I've not seen Transformers. Really? No. First one's okay. As an action film. Uh, the rest are. Quite, gar quite garbage. I know Megan Fox got booted off the uh, third set because she compared 
the uh, director to a Nazi. <laughs> really? I think Hitler specifically. So, <laughs> so she didn't she didn't soften the blow by just comparing him comparing him to like you know Dernitz or Goebbels or something. She just went straight. No, through. it was it was uh it was always Hitler. What? You know, oh. it's the it's the Nazi ever. Jack knows. Oh, did he hit the ropes? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He bounced off it. Oof. There we go. Timelines just... restored. All right. Mm. Yeah, both as a viewer and in this game, I'm really not a huge fan of the like really large uh, wrestlers. I yeah, mean, with play? the Undertaker and Kane being exceptions, mm -hmm. but that's because both Undertaker and Kane are fairly agile in addition to their size. Yeah. Okay. Big Daddy, Big Daddy Cool Diesel feels like I'm moving through pudding. Mm. And, Although I guess uh, it's good to the game's credit that like you know like it it actually does feel noticeably different to be different like yeah. character body types and whatnot. Yeah. 